All right, today's video is gonna be about dream characters and more specifically how to spawn or create dream characters. Um, so I thought I'd, I couldn't remember if I've done a video on this already, but if I have, then this will be an updated video for 2018 uh, because I have a few new insights and new ideas which I'd like to share with you. So firstly, a dream character is a, uh, an awareness or a entity that is within your subconscious mind or your lucid dream. They are not separate entities despite how much they feel like them. Um, what they actually are is instead parts of your subconscious mind which you're experiencing as different people in the dream. So it can feel like they're different people and then they have their own thoughts and willpower and everything like that, but they, they don't. Uh, you know, what's actually happening is you're experiencing your subconscious mind or parts of it in a lucid dream. So there are various ways which you can sort of create or spawn these dream characters and not all of them will work for you. You know, some of them might work for you, others might not. Um, but let's just get right into it. So the first way you can create a dream character, and when I say create, I mean like manifest them so they're instantly there in the dream with you. So the first way you can do this is by just opening a door. Um, dream doors or dream portals, especially things like windows, are very good at manifesting things you want to see in a dream. They're also good at teleporting and you know moving through the dream scene, but more importantly, you can just create anything in a dream door and it will be there. So the way you do this is you just expect that when you open a door, a dream character will be on the other side and you can sort of visualize the dream character you want to create before you open the door. And then when you open the door, you expect to see them and then lo and behold, when you open the door, they'll be there. So that's number one, that's, that's method one you can use. The second way is you can get a bit more creative and you can actually start to like, you can start to freeform manifest them with either your hands or with, if you happen to find a pencil or a pen or something like that, you can actually draw the outline of a dream character on the wall or on the floor and then look away, look back at the outline and then expect there to be a dream character there. Again, this is all very fluid and loose because you're relying on your expectation. So if you expect a certain method to work, it probably will. That's one of the main warnings I'll give you about watching a video like this is if I tell you to draw an outline of a dream character, then turn away, then look back at it, and then it'll be there, I'm influencing what will happen. I'm influencing you because I'm giving you that expectation that that's what will happen and therefore you're going to try it in a dream and it probably will happen. This is just what's worked for me. You know, I've used these techniques. I've, I've done these things. Um, so yeah, they work for me. They might work for you as well, especially if I'm telling you that they will. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent here. So method two is just to draw the outline of a character and then look away, look back at the outline and expect it to be a dream character right there. The third is to use dream commands. Now dream commands can be used to do almost anything in a lucid dream, but specifically you can use them to conjure up dream characters. And the way you do this is just by simply shouting out loud, I want a dream character or manifest this person. And your subconscious mind will usually play along and usually if you expect it to happen, it will. Now, there is a debate as to whether this is because your subconscious mind interacts with you and responds to your questions or whether you're just expecting something to happen and therefore it happens. It's a sort of debate in the lucid dreaming community. I don't really want to say one way or the other because I simply don't know. All I know is from experience, if you give a dream a command, nine times out of ten, uh, you know, about that about eight to nine times out of 10, it will respond and fulfill that command, whether that is to increase the lucidity, turn up the brightness, manifest a certain scene or a person, um, or just help you find the way to whatever you're looking for. I don't know whether it's the subconscious mind helping you or whether it's just because you expect it to happen, it happens. It's a debate in the community. Anyway, leave a comment letting me know what you think about that. But that being said, that is the third method for manifesting a dream character. It's just to expect them to be there and then to ask the dream to manifest them for you. The next one's kind of simple, but then it can be sort of unreliable sometimes, especially when you get distracted. Um, and that number four is to find a crowd. So in a dream, there are often things going on which can help you find what you're looking for. So say if you're looking for a door, there's often gonna be a door somewhere in the dream around you, whether that's on a street or in a house, or you know, if you just look around the corner, there's a shack. You'll usually find things like a door. In the same way, you'll usually find a crowd. Unless, you're happy, unless you happen to be dreaming of a desert or something where there's no people around, usually there'll be people around in your dream. Um, so find these lucid dreaming crowds, find these crowds of people in your dream, and then walk through them. And what you're doing is you're not looking for anything in particular, but you're trying to, you're trying to sort of run into the dream character that you're trying to manifest. 
and if you just sort of build up a picture in your mind of what you want the dream character be, to be, whether it's like a friend or someone specific, maybe someone famous or a, a relative friend, someone you know, or whether it's just somebody random you're looking for, like you're looking for, for example, a woman or a man. Try and visualize what sort of person you want to run into or what sort of dream character you want to manifest in the crowd and then just walk through the crowd and in a few seconds to a few minutes you'll run into that person or they'll run into you and there you go, you've manifested a dream character, they've just come out of nowhere. So that is the four top ways for manifesting dream characters in a lucid dream. There are obviously a lot more than four ways, like there are th probably thousands of ways, um, you know, whether it's from seeing them randomly or having them pop up from the ground, there's loads of things that could happen. But these are just the four ways that I personally use the most often if I want to manifest a dream character, whether that's someone famous, you know, uh, a role model or somebody I'd like to speak to, somebody I'd like to just see or interact with in a dream setting then that's the four methods I'll use. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and make sure to turn on notifications if you're one of my regular subscribers, just so that you get notified of all my latest videos. And that's it for now, guys. See you tomorrow. Done.